So welcome back to Kevin's European Garage. And what you just saw was me driving around with my muffler bypasses. Those things are obscenely loud. There's just no way I can drive around with them permanently. So what I did was got my mufflers modded. So what you see here is my modded mufflers. I guess you would say that this is the Fister hack or the Fister D mod, I guess, or something similar to that. I just went to a local uh, exhaust place and I had them weld this up. Cost me 250 bucks, which is not bad. I actually had someone give me a price of about uh, uh, 500 to $600 to weld in a couple pieces between here and there. It was obscene. I was like, wow. I almost went out and bought my own welder for that price. So this is what I'm going to be putting on the car now. But before I do that, I'm going to polish up these tips. These tips are in pretty, pretty bad shape. They've never been polished up. So I'm going to go polish those and then uh, put these on the car and uh, do a quick test. Uh, it's not terribly scientific at all or anything, but uh, I did drive around with the muffler bypasses on, and then I came back and parked in the garage. Then I set up my camera with a, a decibel meter using, uh, well, an a iPhone app decibel meter, which is supposed to be halfway decent to see what the max uh, DB was when, as far as revving it. But I tell you, this thing is just way too loud. I mean, if you live out in the country or something, you'll be able to get away with it. But here, uh, I'm just right outside of Boston. I mean, just, so uh, there's just no way. There's too much traffic, too many cops. I just can't get away with it. I've driven it a couple times, and it's just, like, it just, it is just so loud. Good old mother's polish. Yeah, the tips are not in the best of shape, but this will clean it up. All right, let's take a look how that looks now. It's a pretty uh, decent sized difference. I mean, they're pretty rough anyways. They're kind of scratched up. They're not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than what this is. So I'll continue polishing this one, maybe do a little bit more on this one, and then that's time to put them on the car. And I got my helper again today. Okay, so now it's time to take off the tips. I mean, they were fun, but it's just, I can't. They just can't drive around with them all day. I wouldn't even make it to work. This was difficult going on and it's gonna be hard coming off. One down, one more to go. Let's see if this one comes off easily. Oh, nice. Nice and easy. All right, so now the next thing is to uh, put on the factory clamps over here and then uh, put up the mufflers. All right, so I got some nice freshly polished tips. And for a comparison, I mean, these are the uh, the bypasses. These sounded really cool. They're definitely lighter than the factory mufflers for sure. So I think I can kind of felt like a little bit of a change in the way that the rear felt a little bit, possibly. I don't know. I didn't drive the car enough. But uh, with these on, I definitely can tell a difference in the acceleration. So uh, they're definitely, if you're going for all max horsepower, they're definitely worth it. All right, so now I'm going to try to see if I can get this muffler up in here. They're a little heavy, so... So maybe a little bit on the difficult side. I already put the uh, the actual uh, coupling on here, the, the exhaust clamp. Just made sure it fit on both sides first. So let's see if I can lift it up and put it on. You see, it goes right in. I like to know who said that. we go sort of all right I got that in now it's time to get some bolts in let's see if I can get it this way With my big old hands all right 
All right, so now I got the muffler up here and everything, the clamp ended up getting pushed back really far onto this side. So I gotta just slide the clamp down. Hopefully I can push it over to here where it belongs. I should have bought new clamps thinking about it. So there you go. It's a little bit better right there. So if I was you in the future doing this, I would just buy some new clamps. They're not that expensive. I bought one new clamp just in case. I should have bought two. doing that you can look at the uh, the tip alignment because it's gonna mess with the alignment out there so you want to be up and in like this so I'm gonna have to put my hand here and hold it in place in order to get it right and kind of line it up with the previous marks So you can see it just behind the bracket over here through the through the headers. All right, get that one tight. So we go take a look at the uh, exhaust weight sits now. I think it looks pretty good. See if I can make it just a little bit higher. But I think that's pretty good. I can tighten up the rest of those bolts now. All right, finally, last three bolts. Now it's just a clamp. All right, this side is uh, this side is done. And I'm just gonna put on the other side. It's basically the same thing as doing this. There's no real difference between this side and the other side. And uh, yep, so I do that one next. I will suggest though, when you're doing this kind of stuff, when you're messing around at all with the exhaust, just buy new uh, clamps like this because they're not that expensive and this thing is not really round anymore. It's got a bump in it and this thing was, this one was really hard to get on. I couldn't even get it on actually. So you can see it's just not really 100% round. So. The new one, I bought one new one just in case, and I'm glad I did because it made it so much easier to slide on. So get new clamps if you're doing this. So now it's time to get off the jack stands and uh, let's see how loud the Fister D-style mod really is.
So there you have it. That's what the sound of the muffler bypasses are like compared to like the Fister D style mod exhaust. Unfortunately, during this whole process, I lost a bunch of footage. I had a bunch of footage that I had for the factory exhaust and also some stuff for the muffler bypasses, but I still managed to keep everything I had for the modded exhaust, like the Fister D style. So unfortunately that kind of sucks. I wasn't able to find anyone locally in a reasonable amount of time to uh, do some filming with that actually met up with my schedule. And my schedule has been pretty crazy since the end of August. It's just been nonstop, it hasn't calmed down. And uh, this video has been <laughs> working on this thing since the beginning of August. So now I'm finally getting it out to you because of how, it's because of, you know, life happens. So uh, thanks for watching Kevin's European Garage. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page at Kevin's European Garage. I got a bunch of stuff, pictures up there and everything else. So please check that out and I will see you soon.